Shockingly, Nigeria, Africa's largest economy ranks 149th out of 180 countries in Transparency International's 2021 Corruption Perceptions Index. A startling reality indeed, one that starkly contrasts with the image of Nigeria as a burgeoning economic power. Transparency International's data paints a grim picture of the level of corruption in this resource-rich nation. Despite being the 12th largest oil producer in the world and the largest in Africa, Nigeria struggles with a corruption index that places it in the bottom 20% globally. This is not just a statistic, it's a reflection of the daily experiences of millions of Nigerians who encounter corruption in various forms, from petty bribes to grand-scale embezzlement. But the issue does not end with corruption. Let's turn our gaze to another critical aspect, economic disparity. The World Bank reports that over 40% of Nigeria's population lives below the poverty line. In a nation where the top 10% of the population holds more than 40% of the country's total wealth, the gap between the rich and the poor is staggering. This is not the picture of a thriving economy that we would expect from a country so rich in resources. So we find ourselves confronted with a paradox. A nation overflowing with natural wealth where oil flows almost as readily as water, yet where economic inequality is rife and corruption is deeply entrenched. It's a nation with a booming economy on paper, yet where the reality for many is a daily struggle for survival. This begs the question, how can a country with such immense potential, a country that is a significant player in the global economy, grapple with such deeply rooted issues? How can such a wealthy nation be home to one of the world's largest populations of poor people? A nation with such abundant resources yet plagued by corruption and inequality, where does the problem lie? To understand this we need to delve deeper, beyond the surface and explore the intricate interplay of factors that contribute to this paradox. Join us as we unravel the dark realities of Nigeria's economic miracle. Nigeria, often hailed as an economic miracle, is home to the world's third largest youth population, yet unemployment rates soar at 33%. Now isn't that a conundrum? A nation rich in resources boasting a burgeoning economy, yet grappling with an alarming rate of unemployment. On one hand, we have Nigeria's gross domestic product, glowing as one of the fastest growing in the world. Yet on the other hand, the National Bureau of Statistics paints a starkly different picture. This bureau, in its unwavering commitment to truth, reports an unemployment rate of one-third. That's one in every three people of the working age who are willing, able, and actively seeking work, but remain unemployed. Now, if we were to factor in the underemployed, those working less than they could or should, the figure climbs to over half the workforce. This paradox, this disconcerting dichotomy, is a classic example of an economic mirage. The shimmering promise of prosperity, visible on the horizon, yet remaining perpetually out of reach for the majority. And at the heart of this illusion lies a malignant force, a force that has long cast a dark shadow over Nigeria's economic landscape, corruption. So how does corruption contribute to this high unemployment rate? Well, it's a domino effect really. Corruption leads to mismanagement of resources and funds. This mismanagement in turn stunts development and deters foreign investment. A lack of investment means fewer job opportunities contributing to the unemployment crisis. It's a cycle, a vicious cycle, where the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the youth, the future of the nation, are left grappling with an uncertain future. All the while the economy continues to grow at least on paper giving the illusion of progress and prosperity. So here we are, faced with the mirage of Nigeria's economic miracle. A booming economy on one side, an alarming rate of unemployment on the other. A paradox indeed, one that begs the question, who is this economic growth really benefiting? A booming economy with rising unemployment, a paradox indeed. Corruption doesn't just undermine trust in governments, it hinders economic growth and exacerbates inequality. This statement rings true especially for Nigeria, a nation grappling with the harsh realities of these two interconnected issues. Let's consider some data from the World Bank and Transparency International to understand the depth of this problem. According to Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index, Nigeria ranks among the most corrupt countries in the world. This rampant corruption is not just a moral issue, it is a significant economic burden. The World Bank estimates that corruption costs developing economies like Nigeria about 3% of their gross domestic product each year. That's a loss of billions of dollars that could otherwise be invested in infrastructure, healthcare, education and other crucial sectors. 
This economic drain hampers growth and development, leaving the nation's wealth in the hands of a corrupt few, while the majority struggles to make ends meet. Furthermore, corruption exacerbates income inequality, creating a vicious cycle. The wealthy elite, often the perpetrators of corruption, continue to amass wealth, while the poor, who are the most affected by corruption, are pushed further into poverty. This widening gap between the rich and the poor is not just a social issue, it's an economic one. High levels of inequality can lead to social unrest which in turn can destabilize the economy. So you see corruption and economy are inextricably linked in a destructive dance. The one feeds off the other, creating a cycle that's hard to break. But it's not just about the money lost to corruption, it's about the opportunities lost, the dreams dashed, the lives affected. In Nigeria, the reality is that corruption is not just a political problem, it's an economic and social crisis. It hinders the nation's potential for growth and prosperity, trapping it in a cycle of poverty and inequality. It's a sobering reminder of how the actions of a few can impact the lives of many, and how a seemingly distant issue like corruption can have a very real and devastating impact on everyday life. An economy held hostage by corruption, a sobering reality for Nigeria. In Nigeria, the wealthiest 1% holds 20% of the nation's total wealth. This stark reality is not just a statistic, it's a lived experience, a vivid disparity that underscores the economic inequality rampant in the country. According to the World Bank, Nigeria's Gini coefficient, a standard measure of income inequality, is around 48%. That's significantly higher than the global average, placing Nigeria among the countries with the highest levels of income inequality in the world. But what does this mean for the average Nigerian? Well, it means that while a small portion of the population enjoys immense wealth, the vast majority grapples with poverty and the debilitating effects of economic exclusion. This economic chasm creates fertile ground for social unrest. When people are denied access to opportunities, when they see wealth concentrated in the hands of a few while they struggle to make ends meet, it breeds resentment. It fuels frustration and anger, leading to protests, strikes, and in extreme cases, violent conflicts. But it's not just about social unrest, economic inequality also hampers economic development. It stifles innovation and entrepreneurship, as a large portion of the population lacks the resources to invest in businesses or education. It hampers productivity, as people trapped in poverty are often unable to reach their full potential. It erodes trust in institutions, as people perceive the system as rigged against them. So, you see, economic inequality isn't just an issue for those at the bottom of the economic ladder. It's a national issue, a barrier to Nigeria's development and prosperity. It's a challenge that demands urgent attention, a problem that requires thoughtful, inclusive solutions. As we delve deeper into this topic, it becomes clear that corruption and economic inequality are two sides of the same coin. They feed off each other, creating a vicious cycle that keeps Nigeria trapped in a state of economic underdevelopment. Income inequality in Nigeria, a ticking time bomb. It's a problem that needs to be diffused and quickly if Nigeria is to realize its economic potential and create a society where prosperity is shared by all, not just a privileged few. Addressing corruption and inequality isn't an easy task but it's not impossible either. The path forward, while challenging, is illuminated by several potential solutions that could reshape Nigeria's economic landscape. Firstly, the strengthening of anti-corruption agencies is crucial. It's about empowering these institutions with the necessary resources, autonomy, and legal backing to carry out their work effectively. With a strong and independent anti-corruption framework, those who dare to engage in corrupt practices will be held accountable. And the culture of impunity will slowly erode. But, we must also look beyond punitive measures. The systemic nature of corruption means we need to address the underlying issues that often drive individuals towards these practices. This brings us to the second solution, implementing more equitable economic policies. By creating an economy that works for everyone, we can reduce the appeal of corruption. This means investing in infrastructure, improving access to quality healthcare and education, and ensuring that economic growth benefits all citizens, not just the wealthy few. It's about creating a society where everyone has a fair shot at success, and where prosperity is shared. Speaking of shared prosperity, we mustn't overlook the importance of education and job creation. Education is the great equalizer, capable of breaking the cycle of poverty and opening doors to opportunities. 
By investing in education, we are investing in the future of Nigeria, equipping the next generation with the skills and knowledge they need to thrive in a rapidly changing world. Job creation, on the other hand, is about providing individuals with a legitimate and sustainable means of income. It's about fostering an environment where businesses can flourish, where innovation is rewarded, and where every Nigerian can contribute to and benefit from the country's economic growth. In conclusion, the road to a corruption-free and equitable Nigeria is a long and arduous one. But with the right policies and a collective commitment to change, we can transform these dark realities into a brighter future. Nigeria's economic miracle can still become a reality, but only if corruption and inequality are tackled head-on.